Hey, 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 Aries. So this time around, we're gonna do a straight up love reading. The person you're in a relationship with or want to be in a relationship or what is going on with that person. Um, let's get your energy in the relationship. Patience and their energy. Instructions on how to do that are below in the description, as well as links to my Instagram and to my website. Okay, what is this about? You're in this energy of patience concerning your love life. You sure about that? <laughs> You're anxiously patient. Um, you're actually very much in, oh, no. Oh, you're done fighting it. You've decided to be patient. You haven't been patient before. You've been like willing it to happen and it isn't happening. So finally you just stopped that. This could be something else though. I'm getting another message. You're letting your old habits of judgment fall to the wayside. If you're partnered up right now, you're seeing them in a new way. It's almost like they kind of had a conversation with you. Like, just chill out. Like, let's do this together. You don't have to be so anxious. You don't have to be so protective. Um, you don't have to always have your battle armor on. You don't have to be so judgmental of everything I do. And I feel like that resonated. Either they said that to you or you said that to them. But I feel that you have a new patience with this person. So where is this going? Just wash my glasses and there's a big huge water. Um, interesting. And so this is their energy. They're trying to be very empathetic with you. You've got a little bit of growth to do and they're here for it. They're not gonna ditch you. They're gonna support you through it. But I'm mostly hearing them say, like, just quit being on me all the time. Now, of course, these energies could be reversed. Sometimes I get them backward. Uh, it'll resonate differently for everybody. Let's what, oh, 333 three, three on the timer. Let's see what they say about this. They keep saying, let's get back to what it was in the beginning. Somewhere along the line, you just started getting obstinate. You started putting your foot down. You started, um, and maybe we can dig in to find out why. But they're, they're like, let's get back to what we used to have. Because it was really good. So I don't know if you're going through something that's prompting all this. Oh yeah, they really want back what they used to have. Like to the point where... They're not gonna settle if you can't make the change. So they're being empathetic, they're giving you a chance for growth here, they're here to support you through it. But if it doesn't happen, they are not going to settle for this behavior anymore. So what is this? Well, let's see, what do you wanna say? Do we have the energies right or are they reversed?
sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So there could be a slight chance you're in a separation right now from this person. Hmm, what do they wanna say? Girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled boundaries. Okay, so there's definitely conflict here. And this is a new energy coming from them. So I don't know. Oh, my nose. What's the problem here? So is this an altogether separation where you two are trying to work things out but apart to see if you want to come back together? They want to come back together if you make a change. They are saying that. So you could perhaps have some controlling issues here. But as an empress, it could be an entitled empress, not a real empress. It could be an energy of, although they've got empathy here. They're trying, they're trying to empathize with whatever it is you're going through, whatever this judgment is, whatever this hostility, not hostility, but you're, you're constantly in judgment of them for some reason. So what is this Ace of Cups? You're trying to start fresh. What does this look like? You're trying to push your independence. That's the problem here. And you feel they're trying to trap you. Yep, this is very headbutting energy between the two of you. So you want your independence. They do have a little bit of a control issue. Not huge, a little bit. But they don't want to lose you. I don't know where you are in this. If you... Oh gosh, sorry, that's my washing machine. I should have waited until the end, and I'm sorry. Two of Cups. So that's what this new, you want to be together, but you both have just very strict stipulations. Hmm. Tell me a little more about this Two of Cups. One of you wants to start fresh and heal from this. And possibly one of you wants to start fresh with someone else. I'm not quite sure. Or not even necessarily with someone else, but not with this person. So we're gonna dig a little deeper. I'm gonna pull my Kipper deck and see if I can get, I'm gonna try to get energies for both of you and see what's going on here. Because like I said, this is very much a head-butting situation where I don't see either of you progressing. Even though you both want it, or at least one of you wants it. Well, no, you both want it. But you need to, you're need you pushing your independence and they want more attention, honestly. All right, so let's see what this fresh start is about, if it's together or apart. Meet me in the extended. The link is below in the description. It's the very first link. Um, so I'll see you over there. If not, I'll catch you back here next time, Aries. Good luck with this. Ciao, ciao for now now.